Welcome back to the channel. I'm on my way again to the continent called Europe. Yeah, I'm in Europe, but this is an island, so I'm getting off the island to go to France, Belgium, Holland, Germany, Denmark, Sweden, Norway, and then back to Denmark, Germany, Holland, and back to London. Since I'm not working and uh, feeling a little lazy, I thought might as well utilize this time and do a little bit of road tripping and traveling. Especially that I haven't taken the Range Rover on two long journeys. Well, I went to the south of France. No, I took the 911 then. I went to go skiing in this, so I went to the Alps. That was far enough. Um, but I haven't been to Sweden or Norway in this, and I haven't been to Norway for two years now. So I thought, make use of this good weather raining in England, but I'm sure it's going to be fine on the continent as it's always drier. Or compared to us. Very long intro to a video that's going to be in several parts. For those of you who travel to France or have French friends, have you ever wondered why the French keep saying, to be honest, or let's be honest, let's be honest, and then they'll say something in the next sentence, let's be honest. It's like, do you guys normally lie all the time that you have to say, let's be honest, every five minutes when you're saying something? I never say in all honesty to tell you the truth and let's be honest because I don't lie. There's no need. So, yeah, I always wonder, these people who say this a lot, are they constantly lying? Food for thought. I'm on the ferry now. This is lounge, which is not bad. So, at least you don't have to walk around the deck and sit on those uncomfortable chairs. These are quite nice big surfers. Got myself a coffee and some macaroons. And yeah, crossing over to France and then... A very good morning, very early morning, with a couple of accidents on the way. There's another one right now, luckily not so bad. But there was one earlier where the car was on its side and a woman was lying on the road being treated for injuries. I'm in Belgium this morning, left uh, France at 7 a.m. and saw my first sunrise in a very long time. Now I'm heading to Belgium, well I'm in Belgium, and going to see my sister and my nephew. Tomorrow my nephew and I are going on a car rally through Holland, Netherlands and then the following day i think or the day after i'm going to head off to lovely Sverige, sweden Happy dog. In its natural habitat. I'm in Belgium, not far from my sister's house, and I'm in a forest. Quite nice. 
nice place to walk the dog. You wouldn't think that there are such tall trees and thick bush around, but this is where my sister walks her monstrous dog, which is huge. It's the size of a donkey and, well, a little shorter than a donkey, but weighs about 35 kilos and is huge. So if it pushes you or pulls you, it takes you with him. Every time I go for a walk with him, I can't uh, control him, so I have to put the harness around my body. So if he pulls, it's not just my arms, it's my whole body that uh, can control him. And he's still a puppy, so he has a lot of energy. I'm finally able to walk in my normal shoes. Well, I have to use completely flat shoes because anything which has a heel or a shape really hurts my foot. But as long as I'm walking slow and I'm walking on even ground, I'm okay. I just want it to be fixed properly before the ski season. Oh, and I forgot to mention London was like 17, 18 degrees, really lovely. And it's 29 degrees here in Belgium. Hot, hot, hot. Back to summer again. For those of you who watch my channel, <laughs> here is some interesting update from the Cupra video I made. So that incompetent car dealer came back from his holiday and instead of checking with his colleagues and on his system how the test drive went and what happened, he called me and said, oh, I'm just ringing to follow up if you like to buy the car and how did the test drive go? And I was like, the test drive didn't go because the, there wasn't a car available at your dealership. You wasted my time and now without asking your colleagues, you're calling me. This shows the level of incompetence we have in our society and then they expect to have a job and expect to be paid it really pisses me off there's so many people on this planet who would give their right arm to have a decent job while these people who have these jobs do such a bad effort at it i mean this is just basics of customer service that these guys don't understand and i bet the, when they go to their friends they brag about how amazing their a service is and what they're doing and they constantly moan about the fact that they're not getting paid well well they shouldn't have a job in the first place never mind getting paid well because they don't deserve it it just boils my blood that people just have no sense of duty responsibility decency courtesy and they don't tra take pride in their job these people who are constantly moaning are the utter useless people who don't put any effort into anything they just want the world to throw money at them and say oh thank you for your graciousness for being born and being here on this planet your existence is God's gift to mankind therefore we should just shower you with millions it's just ridiculous so clean Dutch, Flemish, Belgian supermarket. For someone who eats a lot of ready-made food because I can't cook, this place is heaven. What did I get so far? Well, orange juice, tomatoes, potatoes, bananas, and some Caesar salad. In a place that is called Jumbo, everything is so beautifully organized. It would be like Jumbo Sale in the UK, but here it's beautifully done. Someone to, there's a place for someone to sit in and read a newspaper. They are very friendly. It's a
Up. We're going to a car rally and there are going to be quite a lot of cars there, apparently. So I'm going to try and make some videos but I don't know how much I'll be able to film with the... because this car is really tiny and the camera is right in my face. I'm here with my nephew, he's driving this 993 and I'm the navigator apparently. Hmm. 12. The navigator cannot read Dutch. Oh shit. Well, if you read it up, then I can. <laughs> the thing is, where, I don't know where we are. If you tell me the start point, then I can maybe figure out from. Oh there. yes, but we are not at the start point yet, so we first have to guide our way through the village here and we'll be in line uh, at the, the the main street and then where the, um, the church is that's where the start is